Hi everyone, it's Chrissy, and today we thought we would try something a little bit different. I know that many of you all are at home with your kids right now and trying to find things to do, and uh, I think one of the most important things that we can do for and with each other is to read. Before joining Congress, I actually was involved in early childhood literacy and the importance of reading, and particularly reading with your kids, uh, could not be overly emphasized. And so what I thought I'd do today is read a book that was given to me when I was sworn in. Uh, I think it has a great message, and I hope you invite your kids to, to join along. The book is called Grace Goes to Washington. And here's the first picture, which has a picture of Washington and the words checks and balances at the very top. Let's figure out what that's all about. One Friday afternoon in April, Mrs. Barrington shared a large diagram of the three branches of the US government. But Grace Campbell could not stop daydreaming about the upcoming field trip to Washington, DC. Grace, do you know who's in charge here? Mrs. Barrington asked. Who's in charge here, Grace repeated. Principal Perez? A few of her classmates giggled. And again, here's the picture of her with her classmates and they're learning about Washington, D.C., it would appear. Well, said Mrs. Barrington, I suppose you could say Principal Perez is like the executive branch here at Wilson Elementary because she's the head of our school. But right now, we're talking about the U.S. government. Sorry, Grace answered, the president, he or she leads the executive branch. That's correct, Mrs. Barrington smiled, the president. The last bell of the day rang. We'll discuss this more next week, she announced. Student council members, Grace and Sam, don't forget you have a meeting after school. And here's the beautiful illustration of that, where Grace is learning from her teacher and she and her friend Sam are heading out to join the student uh, body meeting after school. At the meeting, classroom representatives were discussing their ideas on how to spend the money raised from their holiday bake sale. Thomas and his committee petitioned for new sports equipment. Grace and her committee thought new books for the library were the way to go. Principal Perez even offered her own suggestion. The music room sure could use some new instruments. Mr. Marshall, the media center teacher, listened carefully to all of their arguments and took notes. And here are some beautiful illustrations again of the student body meeting and everyone presenting their ideas of what would be the best use of the resources or the funds that were generated from the student uh, bake sale. They're all good ideas, Grace later admitted to Sam. There's no way we'll agree before the vote next week. You know what I was thinking during the meeting, Sam asked. No, what? If Principal Perez is like the executive branch, I think the student council is kind of like the legislative branch because we're the elected leaders from each class and we help make the decisions for the school. Grace considered Sam's comparison. Yeah, who knew so many people had a say in how to spend cookie money, she grumbled. And here they all are. And here's a little uh, drawing about the executive branch and the legislative branch and the legislative branch in this case is represented by Grace and her student body members. The following day, Grace could hardly contain her excitement. It was finally field trip day. As the bus drove down Pennsylvania Avenue, cherry blossoms dotted the streets like pink pom-poms. Grace and her classmates visited the Lincoln Memorial, the US Capitol where the legislative branch meets. And here is a really beautiful picture, particularly of the cherry blossoms that bloom every year around this time. And they were a gift to the American people by the Japanese people. And here are some really pretty pictures of the Capitol building where I work, uh, and also the Lincoln Memorial. There are beautiful buildings in Washington, DC if you get a chance to go there. And the Supreme Court building. That's where you'll find the judicial branch and the Supreme Court judges, Sam pointed out. They decide if our rules and laws are fair. Kind of like Mr. Marshall does at our student council meetings, Grace added. 
During a tour of the White House, home of the executive branch, Grace's dream of becoming president felt more real. And here she is down in Washington, visiting the steps of the Supreme Court and also the Oval Office, where she's dreaming someday of perhaps being president herself. Their final stop of the day was the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial. Grace studied the words engraved on that monument and thought about their meaning. And they say, make a career of humanity. Commit yourself to the noble struggle for equal rights. You will make a greater person of yourself, a greater nation of your country, and a finer world to live in. And those are beautiful words carved on the monument of Martin Luther King Jr in Washington that you can visit. At recess the next day, arguments about what to purchase for the school grew more heated. Look at this crummy basketball, Clara complained. It's practically worthless. At least you have a ball, Fletcher groaned. There are two new books in the Ninja Wizard series, but our library doesn't have either one. Hannah lobbied the loudest for new instruments. Well. I, for one, am sick and tired of playing the recorder in music class. Principal Perez is right. And here are all of the people on the, on, uh, the recess talking about the importance of where they're going to spend their money, and all of them have different ideas. Grace glanced at Thomas, who was unusually quiet. She looked past him to see who he was staring at. Grace didn't recognize the boy sitting all alone. He must be new, she thought. He looked kind of sad. Just then, the bell rang and the students scattered. Wait, Grace called out to the boy. You forgot something. Grace handed him his sketchbook. I like your drawing, she said. Thanks, said the boy with a smile. Grace caught up to Thomas in the hallway. I have an idea, she said. Here's a beautiful picture of Grace speaking to the new boy and looking at his beautiful sketches and wonder what the sketches and wonder what the drawing is. A few days later, the student council's last meeting of the year was being called to order. Excuse me, Grace interrupted. Before we vote, Thomas and I would like to introduce you to someone. This is Amon. He's new to our school. We'd like all of you to consider one more option for how to set, spend the bake sale money. And together, they rolled out a big poster. And here's probably one of my favorite pictures in the book with Grace and her new friend, Aman and Thomas, and they are going to unroll a new idea. We're calling it the Friendship Mall, Thomas said proudly. Aman helped us to design it. It's a place where you can go at recess to let other students know when you need a friend, Amon explained. Next, Thomas spoke about their field trip to Washington, D.C., and Grace read a quote from Martin Luther King Jr. A finer, kinder world starts with us and the choices we make. She concluded, thanks for listening. And here's the picture with the drawing of Amon's uh, friendship mall with Grace and her quote from Martin Luther King Jr. and with Thomas explaining and uh, talking about the wonderful trip they took to Washington, D.C. Everyone clapped. Principal Perez wiped tears from her eyes. Oops, yep, that's right. Mr. Marshall pounded his gavel. It's time to vote. After the ballots were collected from each classroom representative and the votes were tallied, Student Council President Grace Campbell peeked at the results and grinned. It's a unanimous decision, she excitedly announced. All members are in favor of, and here's a really cool picture of the ballot box where all of the votes are being put in and then they're all being counted. I wonder what the decision will be of how to spend our cookie money. The Friendship Mall. The room, looked, the room filled with happy cheers. Principal Perez took a seat and then, much like the president signs a bill into law, she approved the election results, making the decision official. Today, you put your own wants and needs aside in order to serve others, she said beaming, and that's true leadership. 
and there's the principal and the student body president and uh, Aman and Thomas. This time, everyone agreed. And this is such a pretty picture of everybody standing with the friendship mall in front of them with their signs of encouragement and everybody's so happy to have a place to go during recess. And that's the end of our story. And I really enjoyed sharing it with you. I would encourage you whenever you're feeling bored or even when you're not to pick up a really good book uh, and to sit down and read it with somebody. Thank you.